happened Thursday, uh, not this week, but the following week, so about a week and a half ago, which was a huge answer of prayer. Um, as you guys know, like uh, the housing market everywhere is crazy, but um, in Grand Rapids, like it's the third lowest inventory of housing in the entire country. So just nuts, the housing market in GR. And so uh, God was really gracious. I think really delayed things for us for really good reason because we just found an awesome house that's going to be really the center of, of ministry and of life for us for the next couple years. Um, and so we... Uh, We've been working over the past couple months trying to build our core team. And so uh, Troy and Taylor are here today. And then obviously it's my wife, Sarah, and August, Michael, Lucy, and Gordon is hiding because apparently he's bashful. You want to wave? There you go. Or he doesn't like standing on this hill up here or something. I don't know. Um, but so obviously we're part of the core. And then we've been able to gather around 20 to 24 people is kind of where we're at total. Um, and so we've been meeting every other week for the past couple of months, um, just kind of helping people make this decision. Like, do they want to step into our core team? And so um, next weekend on Sunday afternoon, we're having a big kickoff party. And for us, really, that's like when River City Church starts. And that doesn't mean we're going to have like a, a church service like this right off the bat. Um, and that's really intentional. It's because we think that like, this is a beautiful and awesome thing to gather and worship together in a public service. But it's also a really beautiful thing for us to like fast from that for a little while to remind us that that being a church is a lot more than just worshiping publicly together. Um, it's it's the endeavors that we're trying to have to, to reach people with the gospel. It's building a kind of our culture together. It's a learning like, man, what does it mean just to be able to be fluent in the gospel, to be able to share the gospel with myself and with other people? And so for a few months, we're going to just meet in our home in the afternoon, kind of like um, an MC, kind of like a Bible study, kind of like a uh, mini church service in some of the elements, but a very different thing than a public gathering to just kind of focus on, on who we are as a church and, and really what our mission is to proclaim the gospel to our city and ourselves, all that we might glorify God. And so we've been working towards that. Um, and so you can just be praying that uh, God would continue to build that team, um, that, that we want to see um, a multitude of people who, who are able to step into that. Um, if you know people in the Grand Rapids area uh, who, who might be a good fit to kind of partner with us, please connect us with them. Um, when you see our stuff on Facebook, like just share it. Tag your friends because we'd love for people to know um, what we're doing, that they might be able to jump into the mission with us. Um, if you know people in Grand Rapids who don't know Jesus and like you can just introduce us and like let them hang with us, we would love just opportunities to be able to to share the gospel with them. So so lots going on. It's been a really encouraging uh, period for us. And just thank you so much for your, your role in it, your part in it, for partnering with us. Um, that's huge. And we're just so thankful uh, for really what God's doing through this time. I don't know if I answered what you told me to do. I like barely listened to the question because I knew what I wanted to say. That was great. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so um, here's what we're going to do. There's, there's some prayer requests that are in your bulletin um, or in your handout, whatever. Um, we put them there because we want you to take that with you and we want you to continue to pray. Put that on your refrigerator. Do put that on your mirror. Grab another one so you can put it on your refrigerator and your mirror, whatever. We want these guys to be in the forefront of your mind. Uh, we want you to be praying. And uh, I think what we'll do right now is just invite everybody to gather in close, to lay our hands on these guys. And um, yeah, we're just going to, uh, to pray and commission them and uh, send them out as our first church planners. So thankful for this day. Um, God, we do thank you so much for Brad, for Sarah, for their kids, for the rest of their team. Um, Lord, I thank you for, for their humility to take a year out of their plan to come and to, um, to be a blessing to us and also to be invested in here and, and to be even more well prepared for the task at hand. Um, Lord, I pray that, um, that as they feel inadequate, in the coming days, Lord, I pray it would not drive them to anxiety and fear, but that I, I just pray that it would cause them to rejoice um, that they are weak and that you are strong and that the weight is not on their shoulders, but the weight is on your shoulders and your shoulders are broad and able to bear it all. Lord, I pray for their sleep. I pray that you would give sleep to your beloved, which is them. Lord, I pray for the whole team that has uh, transitions and homes to sell and jobs to start and new lives to create in a new city. Lord, I pray for their rest. I pray for their sleep. I pray for their peace. 
Lord, I pray for times of refreshment with each other, for deepening of relationships, both in the gospel as well as, 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 well as just in recreation. Um, Lord, again, give them rest, give them peace. Lord, give them diligence. Lord, I pray, um, even as I've just seen ongoing refinement in Brad's character, even in this area, Lord, I pray that you would give him strength. I pray that you would give him discipline and diligence. And Lord, I pray um, that that strength and discipline would be multiplied in the lives of others. Lord, um, help them to be faithful. Help them to be courageous, Lord, and make them fruitful in ways that only you can. We pray for the lost that they will meet, for their neighbors, co-workers, strangers in the park, classmates in the schools. God, would you... Would you just draw people? Would you give the population of Grand Rapids, would you give uh, the kidders and their team favor in their eyes, Lord, that they might be drawn to River City Church, not for the glory of River City or the kidders, but Lord, for your glory, that as you draw people toward them, you would ultimately be drawing people toward yourself, toward your gospel, toward new life in you. Lord, make us faithful in continuing to pray for them and continuing the work here in their absence. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us this morning. Um, if you haven't gotten to know these guys or to be a personal encouragement to them, uh, do so before they leave today and uh, be in prayer as we go. Thanks. Oh, we've got worship. One more song. One more song. One more song.